But what about the hand in the box, people say? When do I move that? Well, some people who use mirrors suggest that wherever you can, the hand in the box can be moved at the same time. But I find that quite difficult and our suggestions are that we conquer, that we conquer this here first before we start to do the same movements with a hand in the box. If you come up and try it later, it just feels weird. However, moving the hand in the box, oh sorry, asynchiria. We've now noticed, this is a new word for you, asynchiria. And what it is, it's a pain that people get when they use a mirror box. And the person might be doing activities here, but the hand in the box starts to hurt, even though they haven't moved it. If you ever needed proof that pain is in the brain, well, there it is. But the key thing is to know about it. It's no more damage, but it can be a bit threatening to patients. They need to be explained. This is just the normal little result of, of this exercise. We can, we can do exercise so it sort of doesn't happen, but it's okay. It doesn't signal that you've done any more damage. And moving the hand in the box could be a step on for many other treatment techniques where we, where we use this, for example, with arthritis in the hand. Because it's simply this. Just say the hand in the box hurt when Morton squeezed it. Ow, ow, ow. If he then put his hand in the box and took it to where it just was about to hurt, so squeeze it in here just where it's about to hurt, now take this one further. Come on, work this one, Morton. Work it, work it, work it. Take the other hand out and move the hand here, this one here. Inevitably, the pain in that hand will be different. Obviously, it can come back if you've got a more acute state, but it's a beautiful way to trick the pain. And this is where, why we're seeing, for example, mirror boxes being used in some hand surgery units where people, for example, can't take some form of narcotic, but a mirror is enough to change it. I'll share some anecdotes in a moment about other states that can be used. You can also use it for the foot. The, foot the, the leg behind the mirror is the problem leg. The foot you can see here is the good foot, but of course the patient is now seeing the right foot. And the patient is simply doing things with the left foot that the right one can't do, which could be twisting it in and out, up on tippy toes, drawing figures of eight, putting TheraBand between the toes. Smudge feet in chronic lower limb pain are probably a bit more common than we realised. So how much, how many and how long, people will say. Well, if we go back to the randomised control trial of Mosley, they did it for, with their complex regional pain syndrome 1 and phantoms, they did it for two weeks for two hours of laterality each day. Two weeks by two hours imagery. Two weeks by two hours mirrors each day. And you're all thinking, my gosh, that's a lot. Now, Mosley is just a mere scientist. You guys are something special. You're clinical scientists. That, of course, had to be done to keep the experiment nice and clean and neat. And what we will see with patients is some don't have a laterality deficit, so we start them on imagery and mirrors quickly. Many progress faster. You see the laterality improve within a few days or a week, so you bring the whole program together a little bit, mix the modalities. Laura um, Mosley says anecdotally he believes 20% of CRPS1 are showing no shift and I think that might be right. However, what we're seeing now is many therapists asking patients to come back for another trial of treatment and they might have been discharged five years ago. So you obviously have a very difficult, what we call seared in brain state to try and change. Some anecdotes to finish up. The clinical reasoning, compliance, goal setting, education and support is essential. It's fun using a mirror, but to take it further you need goal setting, explanation, understanding and support. Anecdotally, laterality is lost in dyslexia. Dyslexics get less than 50%. There's obviously a motor perturbation there that might have been picked up. Our cricketers have superb laterality. They can do 100 hands and get close to 100% right. But it's interesting, even a minor injury can put it off. And maybe that's why they drop some catches sometimes. We've seen laterality deficits severe enough to use the foot for the hand. The hand is so severe they can't work it on these programs, so we use the foot. And we've also used the hand for the neck. 
Mirrors can be used for all hand pains. Mirrors could be used for out of plaster stiffness. Just a week ago in Norway, a, a, one of our people on the course went home with a mirror for the first time and she said, I took a young boy out of a plaster. He couldn't supinate. He couldn't supinate. So we put his, this hand in the box and then with a good hand did a lot of supination, take the hand out of the box and supination's there. It's obviously melted in the brain. I believe GMI could be preemptive because every one of you know a patient who is injured and where you think this will be trouble for whatever reason. They probably should be doing mirror work and imagery while they're in a cast or while they're in a hospital bed. And mirrors may be a lifetime pain management tool for some. We still don't know, but I know there's a lot of complex regional, a number of complex regional pain syndrome patients who take their mirror box with them on holidays everywhere and they give their brain a blast of mirrors perhaps two, three times a day for pain relief. So we would like you to help us in these really embryonic therapies that so, show so much promise for some of the nasty neuropathic pain states. Online, we're now running six research projects online. If anybody's particularly interested here and wants to see how this fits into a certain patient group, we'll help you. By putting projects online and asking for data from around the world, you can very quickly get large patient numbers. Just get a trial version and see how it goes and fits for you and come back and talk to us. And importantly, share the anecdote of it because it's only the anecdote and the story around that will start more and more science. So finally we finish. It's my favourite drawing. It's a drawing done by an Australian Aboriginal 50 years ago, before any brain mapping had ever been done. And I look at it and I think, what do we really know? It's almost like a neuromatrix, all of the connections and all of the story underneath. And finally, I'd like to finish and say it's just getting such exciting days in neuroscience, so exciting. The key thing now is we have to make it exciting for patients as well. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dave. I just promised to say that if anybody wants a copy of the evidence, there will be some up here and there will be some in the NOI stand, just next to the manual therapy stand out in the Wustilling um, cell, whatever that is called. So, um, Dave, what you're saying is that it needs to be graded yes. when we do this, because if you start out too early, you might get a patient with pain. So if you turn that around and you have a patient who does have pain, and they're probably a bit too sore to move, which is where we usually would start, then could we start out with mirrors and just see how they happen? Or what is your opinion? Should we start mm, all the exactly way from more. laterality? I think that the grading... Uh, am I turned on? I'm fairly excited. I don't excited. know if we can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> That's another point in the grading that I didn't really say because we're actually taking the grading to not just doing body movement, but to taking it right back into the neuromatrix. So that is essentially a form of grading. And what it is really saying is that in every patient there has to be some movement available, whether it's actual movement or movement within the representation of the movement, we can start somewhere with every patient. Any questions for David? It's just so clear. It's your language. So clear, thank you. Come and have a chat, I'll be around and if anybody wants to talk it through or, or have a play and check your laterality out, I'll let you know what it means. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.